If you've ever wondered whether taking collagen supplements can actually make a difference in your skin's health and appearance, you're not alone. Today, let's talk about oral collagen supplements, what they are, what they do, and whether they actually live up to the anti-aging hype. Collagen is a protein that acts as scaffolding or structural support for your skin. It's what helps keep your skin firm and plump when you're young, but as we age, even in our 20s, collagen production goes down by about 1% a year. This leads to saggy skin and wrinkles as we age. This known drop in collagen production as we age is why collagen is such a buzzword in anti-aging products and supplements. Collagen supplements typically come in powder form, capsules, or in liquid form, and most are hydrolyzed collagen peptides, which means that the collagen is broken down into smaller pieces, basically pre-digested little bits of collagen. When you take collagen supplements, they're broken down into even smaller pieces, amino acids, in your gut. Some people argue that these amino acids are no different from what you'd get from eating protein-rich foods like chicken and fish, but there's some research to suggest that there's more to the story. There is some evidence in humans that collagen peptides can improve skin hydration and elasticity. I've been taking collagen peptides for about six months now, and to be honest, I usually buy whatever's on sale at Costco. But there are a couple of things that I don't love about taking collagen peptides. Number one, they're expensive. Take this product as an example. The recommended daily serving size is 20 grams, and the container has 22 servings. It retails for about $30 US. That means you're spending $1.36 per day just for the powder. Number two, the taste. Let's just say that a couple of the big name brands taste the way a hamster cage smells. Not ideal, right? Given these issues, I wanted to see if it was actually worth it for me to continue buying and taking these products. A quick side note for vegetarians and vegans. Collagen supplements usually aren't plant-based. Most are derived from animal sources like the bones, skin, tendons, and cartilage of cows and pigs. Most of the clinical studies that have been performed on collagen supplements have been based on collagen from animal sources. There aren't comparable options or evidence for plant-based alternatives at this time. So what does the science say? While not all studies are created equal, there are some randomized controlled trials suggesting that oral collagen can improve hydration and elasticity. A 2021 meta-analysis, which included data from over 1,700 patients, concluded that collagen supplements led to statistically significant improvements in skin elasticity and hydration after 8 to 12 weeks of consistent use. It's worth noting, though, that many of the studies on collagen supplements are funded by the companies producing these supplements. While this doesn't automatically invalidate the research, it's something that I keep in mind. One thing that surprised me when reviewing studies on collagen supplements is how little the doses of collagen peptides were in many of the studies, as little as 2.5 grams a day. I did not find strong evidence to suggest that consuming more collagen peptides, like the 20 grams per day recommended by both of the powders I tried from Costco, leads to better results. For example, take this study sponsored by a German company that makes a collagen drink called Elastin. I have no conflict of interest. It contains just 2.5 grams of collagen peptides along with acerola fruit extract, vitamin C, vitamin E, biotin, and zinc. Despite the small dose, the study, which was reasonably well designed, randomized 72 women to either the drink or a placebo, which did not contain the collagen or extra nutrients that I mentioned. After 12 weeks, the group taking elastin showed objective improvements in both skin hydration and elasticity. 2.5 grams of collagen peptides when from one brand isn't necessarily equivalent to 2.5 grams from another. The amino acid content can vary depending on the animal source like bovine or marine and the specific tissue used, skin versus cartilage. Unfortunately, most brands don't disclose the exact tissue source, but at least matching the animal source when comparing products is a decent place to start. Before you jump on the collagen train, here are a few considerations. Results take time. Most benefits are seen after at least eight weeks of daily use. It's not a miracle cure. While collagen can help, it's just one piece of the puzzle. I consider sun protection, a healthy diet, and not smoking to be way more important than collagen supplements to my overall health, including my skin's health. Cost. Collagen supplements aren't cheap, and their effects might not justify the expense for everyone. So does oral collagen supplementation work? The answer is maybe. There's some evidence pointing toward modest benefit in skin hydration, elasticity, and texture. If you're curious and you're not vegan or vegetarian, it might be worth trying a collagen peptide supplement for two to three months to see if you notice a difference. Me personally, based on my deep dive, this is a low-risk supplement. 
Studies on collagen peptides used for anti-aging or for arthritis pain have consistently shown that collagen supplements are well tolerated. Given that there's some evidence of benefit, I'll continue to take my collagen supplements. That said, I'll be reducing the amount that I take from 20 grams a day down to 5 grams a day until I see evidence that there is a real dose-dependent benefit to taking the greater amount. That will reduce my cost per serving from $1.36 to $0.34, cents, which I'm more comfortable with in the long term. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.